what's up everybody 915 mang here doing a video today on the high door Celts d i got the 2475 watt uh, version it does 15.1 feet of uh, head pressure 24 gallon 2400 gallons per hour and uh, comes with a cable length of six feet now the uh, measurements of the product are 8.2 by 3.5 by 4.7 now it's crazy because they have one even smaller that's 4.7 by 2.6 by 3.7 with a uh, 500 gallons per hour flow rate um, so I'm going to be using this as my new return pump for my 150 gallon uh, tank uh, and as you can see it is pretty slim very very sexy little pump so shout out to Hydor for sending me this return pump. Uh, you guys in the freshwater hobby can use this pump. I'm going to use this for my aquarium, my saltwater reef tank. Um, you can install it both wet and also even dry. It comes with different fittings. I'm going to hard plumb this return pump to my reef tank. Uh, the tank that I got is 150 gallons and this is going to be plenty of flow for me. So let's go ahead and open up some of these boxes the rest of the packages and contents of this return pump uh, so I can show you what it looks like. It is pretty slim. The filter in the front, you can unscrew it. I'm gonna keep it on there because I know I have a mess. These are the fittings that you're actually gonna use. If you wanna use some hoses, like I said, I'm gonna hard plumb mine. Um, it does take straight from the outlet one inch, okay? This one takes one inch. I'm just gonna glue it into there with some PVC and then attach it, you know, to the rest of my uh, reef tank. The controller is pretty big. It's a solid, uh, high quality controller. And it does have a five minute feed mode with a little bit of a cooler in the back. It is well ventilated on the back, a nice little hook on the top, which I'm gonna use. I'm gonna zip tie that to my rail system in the back of my tank. So that way I can have easy access. I'm also gonna plumb this return pump into my algae turf scrubber getting rid of my other return pump so that way i can just have one single pump uh, to control everything from my flow into my you know main display and also my algae turf scrubber i am kind of figuring out how i'm going to exactly do that and i'm going to be gluing some other pieces together the cool thing is the outlet of this return pump is one inch, which I already covered, which is kind of cool because everything else in my return on my plumbing from the return side of my 150 gallon tank is one inch. Now, because I'm, I'm hard plumbing the PVC to the pipe, to the return pump, uh, I don't need the uh, other valves and stuff for that would you would use for your hoses. Uh, it does come with mul multiple... Uh, attachments for your hoses but um, this is how I'm going to do it hard plumb so that way it'll just be easier for me. I did go to the store and one thing I'm really excited to use are these husky uh, PVC cutters. They're ratcheting so you don't have to uh, be twisting it just simply click down and go from there. I should have bought this thing a long long time ago just to make things a lot easier. Now I did buy some uh, other pieces to kind of transition to this new pump I bought a one inch T and then I reduced it down to three quarters so that way I can go ahead and slip it in now unions you guys should be using using unions and uh, another quick tip don't get PVC and spray paint it red uh, like the way that I did it's just going to be a pain in the butt go ahead and buy the hard PVC that already comes in the color that you want because that way you won't have to worry about it getting scratches and it will actually be sealed to the PVC itself and not to the paint with it's just a big mess so stop being cheap like me and go ahead and buy yourself some colored PVC for your plumbing but I just want to show you real quick how easy this uh, self ratcheting PVC cutter is pretty sweet I should have bought this damn thing a long time ago I just didn't because it was like 15 bucks but well worth it I know I'm going to be doing some other projects in the future and uh, this thing is pretty awesome now if you still haven't learned your lesson and you want to be cheap like me 
then you can use this stuff, Krylon. This is what I use to spray paint. Make sure you clean your PVC real good. Get any grease and oil, that way you don't have any runoff. And to take the lettering off, you can use your wife's acetone. Get it, dip it in some of her cotton balls, rub it on the PVC and that red stuff will come off. Of course, you don't want to do this over your tank and your sump. You want to do this outside. Now to make this move, I got to give a shout out to my buddy Tim. He gave me his uh, unions and I just unscrewed the old return pump. I'm going to PVC glue this to some uh, one inch PVC and I'm going to go ahead and put this pump in place. Makes everything a heck of a lot easier and uh, that way I don't have to be cutting and doing things like that. As you can see the pump has multiple power. You just hit that pause right there and it'll start pausing for five minutes. Which is really cool because if you want to feed your aquarium and totally cut off all the flow, do some top down shots, hit that pause button and it'll go into a feed mode for five minutes. That way you don't have to remember to click back on your feed mode. It'll just automatically kick in once that countdown is done and over with. Now you could even use this pump to plumb in a manifold so that way you don't have to do things like me this is the pump that i use to power my algae turf scrubber now i'm going to be using the hydor pump it's going to feed my tank and also provide flow to my algae turf scrubber and since it's a dc pump it's super quiet and i can go ahead and adjust the flow now if you had a manifold you wanted to run some carbon or gfo you could do that as well i'm gonna let you listen to the pump itself here it is guys That's my algae turf scrubber that you hear in the background. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good one. Like, subscribe, and take care.